grow up, I don't just want to be a consumer. I want to be someone who can build the product and deliver. Hard to argue with that logic. A school in New York is teaching kids how to write computer code so they can become future programmers and app designers. And now we're learning that that opportunity is coming to Austin. Lyle Resner is the director of K-12 education at what's called the Flatiron School. Thank you so much for, for joining us Thanks this morning. So much for having me. Um, a big opportunity. You guys are, are expanding not only in New York, but in about a handful of cities around the country. Yeah, yeah. So we started out as a school in New York City. We saw the insatiable demand for developers across every industry mm -hmm. and decided to uh, build a school that gets good people, amazing jobs. And we got really, really good at that. So virtually all of our alumni have gotten really, really high paying jobs mm -hmm. at the best companies in the world. So Google, Intel, Kickstarter, Boeing, the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times. Uh, and we decided to take that know-how and teach high school kids. Uh, you talk about the program a little bit. To teach code, it can be a little bit intimidating at first. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of people have a uh, misperception about who would be good at coding mm -hmm. and who should be coding. Yeah. So we work really hard uh, at changing people's perception. We think that kids, regardless of what they're interested in, whether they want to be an artist or an entrepreneur or a politician or a humanitarian, will benefit from learning how to code. Yeah, this is the way of the future, really. It's coding. I mean, you said you started coding when you were like 11 years old, but it, it's changed a lot. Yeah, it has changed a lot. Uh, I, so. Um, if kind of well, maybe because it's early morning, maybe we could start with a factoid that might blow your mind a little bit. So, <laughs> uh, um, internet usage uh -huh. over 2015 is expected to quadruple. Is that right? To just just quadruple. this year. Just in 2015. Yeah. So yeah. insane. Right. That's a mind blowing stat. Absolutely, and it has serious implications for every industry: fashion, finance, media, PR, advertising, mm -hmm. government. So it really doesn't matter what a child is interested in, all of those industries, all of those sectors are having to build their own technological infrastructure. Yeah. And the people driving the changes in all those industries are the people that are literate in the very technologies and skills that we teach. So writing code, I mean, you uh, it, this teaches creativity, it teaches problem solving. I mean, there's a lot of things that go into this. Yeah, that's right. I think a lot of people also think, oh, you're coding, you're kind of alone in your basement by yourself. That is not how we teach. That is not what's in industry. Mm -hmm. Our programs are intensely social. They're collaborative. They're creative. Uh, our kids are stretched, but they also have a lot of fun. Wow, there's a lot going on in the coding industry. Uh, Lyle Resner with the Flatiron School, which is coming uh, to Austin, and he'll be speaking at South by Southwest EDU uh, tonight at 5 p.m., right? Tonight at 5 p.m., yeah. At, at the Austin Convention Center. Maybe uh, really cool to check out. Thank you so much for Thanks joining so much us for this morning. Me. All yeah. right. We have links, by the way, to Flatiron's Austin program so you can enroll your kids uh, through our website at kxan.com.